everyone's always asking me about what the best personal self-defense ammunition there is to buy. I've always recommended Winchester and their PDX-1 line. Well, they've changed their name, and I have a gentleman here we're going to speak to as far as the marketing of the product. It's now called the Defender line, and they also have what is called the Train and Defend line. So let's talk to Mike, and Mike is going to talk to us about these two products and what makes it the best, in their opinion, of course, personal self-defense ammunition in the world. Well, what do you got, Mike? You, you're exactly right. You hit the nail on the head with PDX-1 Defender. That same great product, no changes in the products, are now what you're going to see on the shelves as Defender. You know, these are options for pistol personal defense, but also center fire rifle, shot shell, and magnum rim fire. But it's the same great products. And on the pistol calibers, you know, from everything at 380 all the way up through 45 long pole, utilizing jacketed hollow point bullets with bonded cores. You know, this is the same uh, same products that we did. Same products that we uh, that we brought from law enforcement in our range of bonded lines. So, I have a question. Would you explain bonded cores? Okay. So, in a bonded core bullet, what we actually do is we actually weld the lead that's inside the bullet to the bullet jacket. So you're always going to have very high weight retention for good deep penetration, even through intermediate barriers. Okay, so if you had to shoot through a car door and you're shooting a hollow point... You're exactly, you're, you're exactly right. A bonded bullet's going to always hold together better than a non-bonded jacket hollow point. Well, the other, other line I want to talk about a little today is our W Train and Defend line. Now, this was a product that we introduced last year, and we introduced it in 380, 9mm, 38 Special, and 40 S and W. And what it does is it takes that same great bonded jacket and hollow point Defender bullet. We put it in the new brand called Defend. And what that means is what we do there is we lower the velocity a little bit. So you're getting a little lower recoil, but same great performance of the bullet. And then we actually pair it up with a low recoil training round uses an FMJ bullet of the same weight, so a 9mm you get a 147 grain train and defend at a lower recoil level. And they're going to match up, so they're going to function the same, point of aim, point of impact is going to be the same between train and defend. It's been really successful for us over the last year. Uh, it's done very well at retail, and so for 2015 we're expanding that line into 45 Auto as well. You know, a low recoil option for personal defense is really good for anybody who's shooting a very small concealed carry firearm. You know, the lighter a firearm is, the more recoil is going to beat up the shooter and make it harder to control that firearm. So anytime you can reduce the recoil, that's a good thing, specifically for concealed carry. I have a, I have a question. I'm looking at a box of 308 now. If someone gets shot with a 308, a bad guy, is it going to go through their body and go, and go another half mile? What's you, the story on that? You know, you were looking at a Defender product. Well, all of our Defender products, whether they're rifle, pistol, shot shell, those are developed specifically for personal defense. So this isn't a hunting bullet that we just put in a 308 and, and called it a personal defense round. We really started from the ground up and designed a bullet that will not over penetrate. So in the 308 that you saw there, that's a 120 grain bullet. We actually use split core technology on that one. We actually do have a small piece of lead bonded into the rear of that bullet, but the front core is non-bonded. So it actually limits the penetration. And what we see in 308 is in 10% gel, penetrations between 10 and 12 inches, which is really astounding for a product with that much energy and muzzle velocity to limit that penetration to what you would want in a personal defense type product. That's why I asked you that question, because it's amazing that you can make a 308 stop in 10 to 12 inches. Exactly, and we do that exactly the same in 223. We've got two bullet weights in 223, and then we've also got a 762 by 39 that does the exact same thing. Utilizes a, a bullet designed specifically for personal defense to limit the risk of over penetration. So you recommend the Defender line for the average American who's got a concealed license, they're carrying, say, a 1911 or a Glock, and this is the ammunition you recommend is the Defender line. That is our best of the best personal defense product. That would be Defender. For those who want a little less recoil, I recommend the W Defend. You know, we offer it in the most popular concealed carry calibers, but we drop that velocity down, makes it a little easier to manage. And it's readily available. It's easy to get. You bet. You bet. You know, it's, it's been out there for a while now. The Defender line's been out there for almost 10 years now, I think. Uh, the W Train and Defend is new, but we've got it on a lot of retail shelves, and I think you'll be able to find it without any trouble. Great. Great job, as always. Good seeing you again, Mike. All right. Thank you. Bye.